Yep. <laughs> All new stuff. Let's we'll start out like this, okay? You put your left leg in, you take your left leg out, you put your left leg in, and you shake it all about. Yeah, that's scissoring, guys. <laughs> but I don't call it that. I call it Satan's smooch. <laughs> Lucifer's lip lock. Thiamese twins. <laughs> Think about it. It's clever. <laughs> Any bisexuals here? Woo! Horny fuckers. <laughs> Any cell sexuals? That's what I call hookers. <laughs> I'm the opposite of a hooker. For $50, I will put on my pants and come out of a dark room. <laughs> Anybody ever hook up with a bi girl? Yeah, you can tell that that wasn't for you. <laughs> like a bra and panties match. pH is balanced like my grandma's checkbook. Is this our fucking anniversary we just met? <laughs> it throws you off. It does. It throws you off. Blondes have more fun. Can we all agree on that? Anybody heard that? It's the original slogan for the Hitler Youth. They changed it. They changed it. Strip clubs are going to get wild, particularly male strip clubs. As women are finding different things attractive. I think male strippers are going to start to look like me. Yeah. You're like, next on the stage, it's Tad Bod. <laughs> he comes out in a pair of knee high socks, flip flops, farmer's tan. Comes out, makes eye contact, starts to, start to mow her. <laughs> Walks up to the front, some girl puts a dollar in his sock, and he's like, proud of you. <laughs> Turns the crowd on, he's like, I'm gonna go get some milk. Walks behind the curtain, fucking comes back with milk. <laughs> <laughs> they lose their shit. Ugh. I'm gonna put a check mark by that one. I'm gonna do one that I've done, but I don't think you guys have heard me do. So, we don't kink shame people. You don't shame people for their kinks. But you know what people will shame you for? Your expensive hobbies. Don't believe me? Tell somebody you have a $50,000 sneaker collection. They'll be like, don't you fucking rent? That's stupid. <laughs> now, don't do that. Tell them you have a foot fetish. <laughs> Watch the support just roll in. They'll be like, $40,000 worth of toys? You can do better. <laughs> Personally, I have a driving simulator in my house. Yes. I have a $10,000 driving simulator in my house. And that may seem stupid, because I have trouble paying my bills. <laughs> but maybe, just maybe, I like getting roadhead safety and comfort of my own home. <laughs> Don't fucking shame me for that. <laughs> Anybody have an expensive hobby? Anybody got an expensive hobby? Somebody, somebody tell me their expensive hobby. Cocaine. Well, that's a kink in itself. <laughs> I turned it into a kink. Anybody got any expensive hobbies? Motorcycles, golf, anything? Comics. Comics, that's a good expensive hobby. That's the opposite of a kink, though. <laughs> so I don't know how even, I don't know. I guess if you get a big enough collection, it's like bondage. I spent so much money on this. All right. And I'll leave you with this. <laughs> See, that's how you fucking do that. Right? 
I practice all the time at home. All right. Millennials are broken. We're broken. We're masturbation ninjas. I've done it three times just since I've been up here. But that's because we didn't have readily available internet porn. So we had to make do. When Ryan Carey's Honey came on MTV, you had three and a half minutes to rub one out, or you were finishing the Limp Biscuit. I did it all for the Nuki. <laughs> Not really, you had to be resourceful. Remember the Girls Gone Wild commercials? You start on one of those. By the time you finish, you're like, ah, that's, that is every great 80s ballad on one CD selection. <laughs> ah, it's a fucking great deal. <laughs> All right, I'm Jack Wright. <laughs>